Thank you. That was the prelude to the first cello suite of Johann Sebastian Bach. My mentor, the revolutionary guitarist Andrei Segovia, was the first to play that work on the guitar, and more recently I've made my own arrangement, which is what you just heard. But when Bach composed this piece around 1720, the very idea of writing an important work for solo cello was itself revolutionary. I mean, who does that, right? We meet today in a place where a major revolution was launched. Just being here is exciting, and it reminds us that keeping a revolution fresh is an important thing to do. Of all the great revolutionaries through human history, Dr. Martin Luther King remains my personal favorite. I especially love his last prophetic oration given on the eve of his assassination called the mountaintop speech. In that incredible improvisation, Dr. King recalls the parable of another revolutionary, of Jesus' story of the Good Samaritan. Reaching back to Luke 10:30, King describes his own visit to the Holy Land and his visit to the torturous road descending 1,200 feet below sea level where the unnamed traveler was assaulted by criminals, beaten, robbed, and left to die. Just to stop on that dangerous road at that time in history was risky business. But King, in his very last public utterance, turns things around, and he tells us, the question is not what will happen to me if I stop to help this man. The question is what will happen to this man if I do not stop to help him. I will finish with a work by another great guitar revolutionary, by the Paraguayan master Agustin Barrios. Toward the end of his peripatetic life, the charismatic Barrios, sick and out of money, was living in the house of a patron and friend in San Salvador. Each day he was visited by an old woman who knocked loudly on the door and called out, una limosna por el amor de Dios alms for the love of God. Those words inspired Barrios to compose this, his final work. You will hear the rhythm of the beggar woman's knocking, played by the thumb in the right hand, while a melody is played above in three fingers of the right hand. When I play this piece, inspired by a beggar, I often think of Dr. King's great question from his final speech. If I do not stop to help this man, what will happen to him? <laughs> 